Good morning, everyone. Thank you for watching Dee's Precious Nursery. I'm holding my Rosalie kit. Her name is Ivy Jane. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me. I hit 500 yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was either yesterday or early this morning, but I hit 500. Very exciting. Um, I can't believe I'm at 500. I'm excited that I'm at 500 and that people are watching my videos. And thank you for so many lovely comments. Uh, people telling me that they like my videos and, um, yeah. And the, even the messages, because I don't always get the comments, but I do get people that message me, um, that watch me and say that they love my videos. So... That's really exciting. Really, really exciting. I cannot believe I'm at 500. One thing I noticed, um, I don't know if anybody else gets this, but I noticed a couple people that um, su subscribe to me more than one time. And the only thing I could think of is maybe that they're unsubscribing and then resubscribing. I don't know why. Um, I guess maybe... I did a video they didn't like, or maybe they thought it was boring, and then they unsubscribed to me, and then maybe I did one they did like, and then they subscribed to me over again. Uh, there's only been a couple people um, that has done that. I don't understand it. Once I subscribe to somebody, I usually stay subscribed to them. I don't think I've ever unsubscribed to somebody <laughs> that I subscribe to, but I guess some people do it. Um, but anyway... I'm having a great day today. Fantastic day. I went and spent the night at my daughter's last night and spent some time with um, my grandchildren, which was really, really nice. And I said to my daughter, I need to go to Walmart. I have to go get some polyfill because um, some of those AliExpress styles came in and I want to weigh them. Uh, a couple of them I am going to be selling. Uh, not on here and not on my channel. It's just to a few people in the in the area that are looking for babies but do not have the money to pay for a reborn baby. And that I am just doing as um, I'm just going to charge for the kit and for the material. I'm not making any money off of them. But I'm just doing that because I know people would really like them. I have sold a few that way, and that's what I'm going to do. So every now and then I'll order a couple kits and weigh them for people so that people can have the same enjoyment that I get from having a baby that cannot afford to spend hundreds of dollars on a baby. So I'm going to change her. I'm going to change her into an outfit, but I want to bring one of my AliExpress styles on. This is the peaches. Now, um, a couple people have asked me the link or where to get her from. Just go on AliExpress and put in um, peaches already painted kit and she should come up. And hopefully you can get from the same person I got this from. Uh, she is really cute. Really cute. Um, I did weigh her and I um, put her together. I do have to add some more weight in her, but I ran out of weighting material and ran out of polyfill. I have enough polyfill for her, but I didn't have enough weighting material. My weighting material did come in, um, but my polyfill, I have to go get it. I have to go pick up some because I didn't realize that I was that low on it, but I'm pretty low on it. But yes, this baby is so cute. Her magnet is very strong and in the right place. She's bald. And this baby, I probably will not have rooted. Um, when I learn how to root or have somebody root either or, this baby I will probably leave bald. Only because I kind of want to have a couple bald babies in my collection. And she cuddles so nice. She really does. Yeah, you pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. I don't have a name for her yet. Somebody suggested to just leave her name Peaches. I'm not going to do that. Um, Peaches is the name of her kit, yes, but that's not the name I want to name her. So, I just got to come up with a name for her, because she's staying. <laughs> As of now, she is staying. 
because I really am enjoying her. I'm not changing her outfit because I really like this outfit on her. <laughs> Has a little bun little bunny here. It it looks really cute on her. And I got of course my favorite type of shoes on her. So I'm not going to change her. I just want to show her to everybody. I'll just sit her up here. Um, but I am going to change my Ivy Jane. She hasn't been changed in a little while. She's in pajamas. And I am going to put on her. Oh, I'm going to have to sit over here. I'm going to put on her um, this little outfit. It might be a little big on her. But it's okay because I will scrunch it up. Because I'm going to put shoes on her with it. Um, I really like this outfit. I had this on um, my the one I named Aria. I had this on her and I did not want to change her. She stayed in this outfit like for a really long time because it just looked so cute. But I did change her into this outfit now. And now she looks cute in this outfit. <laughs> she is my Gabba gal. And she looks cute in this outfit. So this actually came with one of my um, box openings. It came with my um, Grumpy Sage. But I changed him into a boy, so I knew I was going to use this outfit for one of my girls. So, and I'm going to put these little ruffle socks on with her. And then I'm going to put, oh, there they are, these little shoes. These are really cute. And they're, they're tiny. They're really tiny. So I can use these on my tiny babies. So I'm going to bring you down so you can see me change her yeah bring this up a little bit there we go yes i've been using my ring light because too many glares without using the ring light so i've been using it but I'm going to change her. I hope everybody is having a good day. She's painted so well. She's very smooth. She's not textured, but she looks very real. And she has red, red in, redding blotching in the area, in certain areas. She does have some red blotching on her toes. The face. Oh my gosh, the face. And she has like, it looks like a little sucking blister, but it's very faint. It's not like those, the big suck blister. My little Rosalie. And I named Ivy Jane. I like that name, Ivy Jane. I think it suits her. Definitely suits her. Let's see, what else? What size is this? Oh, this is newborn. So she takes like a newborn. She's so pretty. I love that mouth. Yeah, I want to. I need to bring on a couple other babies that I just haven't brought on ever or in a while. I only have. I think this is video number fifty-six already. Wow, I can't believe I've done that many videos. But as my subscribers are going up it makes me want to do more videos because i see that people are watching so i get excited and i love watching new people if you are new and um i like watching the older um people too the people that been around for years but if you are new and you got some videos up please let me know because i would love to watch um new and upcoming doll mommies and doll videos and i would love to subscribe to you yeah i don't know if my notification bell works i have no idea someone told me it didn't but then somebody told me it did so oh this is really big on her this is but i'm going to put it on her anyway i can tuck the sleeves under we can make it work, Ivy. We will make it work, girl. We're going to make it work. Because this outfit is too cute. And she already has a pink bow in her hair. So she's ready for this outfit. 
I have a couple of my babies sitting over there. Of course, there's my peaches. Who needs a name still? And then my Ari. Yeah. And then I have my Roxy over there who's on a cuddle body, but she is going to be getting her body back now that my material is coming in. And I'm going to pick up some more polypill. She will go back on her body. Yeah. Love this outfit. And I, I know it's pretty plain. I mean, it's not very stylish or anything. I mean, my favorite outfits are definitely sweater outfits. And I do love vintage clothes. I really do. But some outfits are just too cute. Like, this isn't vintage, but this is really cute. And it fits her so good. This isn't vintage either. This, this came from Walmart. And how I know that is because I was in Walmart and... I always go to the baby section. No, I don't need any clothes. Got way too many. But everybody knows that that draw to the baby section. It just you just have to go there. Whether you buy something or or any or if you don't buy anything, you still need to go there because you never know that might be that one thing on clearance that you have to have. That's me. See, if I roll it up, it, it fits her good. And the legs fit her fine. Her legs are curled, so it fits her good. Let's get these shoes on. Now, she was a baby that I might take to the show, too. Not sure. Not sure at all. I know of one definite. And then I'm not sure who else. Still downsizing. Um, I did just sell two more Reborns. Very excited about that. So. And I have a couple people interested in a couple other ones. But no bites on it yet. And that's okay. Because um, I just ordered um, two soft containers not totes but they're like the size of a tote and the baby said i am going to be selling they are going to be um wrapped in blankets and they are going to be stored in there and that is okay and they will be stored until they till they sell um i'm not going to lower the prices any more than I already got them and when they sell they sell if they don't sell then they stay until they do and you never know if they don't sell later on I might want to bring one out and might enjoy it all over again oh you look so cute look at how cute she looks look at her say hi say hi pretty girl I love the sleeping babies I I don't know. I mean, I love my awake babies too, but the sleeping ones, they just look so much real to me because, you know, they're just laying there sleeping. And the awake ones, if you take them out, people will realize that they're not, <laughs> they're not real because they just stare ahead. <laughs> and these ones look more realistic to me. Could be just me, just my opinion. But she's so pretty. She is so pretty. Yeah. So, every day, almost every day, I go on Reborns.com. I just look. I don't know what it is. I can't. And, and I know that I'm not buying. I am not buying any. Um, I do have money saved, um, which I call my Dolly Fund. And I do have money saved. And I was doing really, really good at saving from my doll, um, doll funds so that I can get a higher end doll when I go to the doll show. But as everybody knows, things come up and you sometimes don't get to use that money on what you want to use it on. And um, we had some bills come up that need to get paid. And I am going to lose my dolly fund. But that is okay because 
I can build it back up when I sell more dolls. Um, the money's just needed elsewhere. And that is where it's going because even though my dolls are very important to me, it is a hobby. I do love them. They're not real babies and it is a hobby. And when you have to make the choice between um, household bills and things that need to be fixed or things that come up, that takes priority over the dolls. It just does. It's just the way of life and it's being responsible. So that is what I am doing. So I will be losing the money that I do have saved so far. And that's okay. That is really okay because I need to be in a responsible adult. And that's part of being responsible is taking care of what needs to be taken care of first. Because I have plenty of dolls that I, um, I can sell and I still have more up for sale. And I can build that dolly fund back up. And, and I will. And... That's where I'm going to go from here. <laughs> so, so here's a pretty girl I dressed today. And I want to thank everybody that is subscribing to me. I really appreciate it. I really do. It means a lot to me. It really does. And I guess that's it for now. Um, I'll come back on maybe tomorrow or I don't know. No, tomorrow's not good. My, um. My aunt, I call her my person. Um, I'm the, I don't want to cry. I'm very, very close to her. And it's my mother's sister, one of her sisters. And um, she is coming over tomorrow. And took me a year and seven months to do this. But we are going to start going through my mom's things. Um, my mom passed away in September of 21. And I still have yet to go through her things because... Every time I think about it, it just tears me apart. Um, it needs to be done. My whole basement is her apartment of stuff. And um, we already started bringing the bags and things upstairs to start going through it. And it is getting started tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be a very emotional day for me. I already know this going into it, but it has to be done. It just has to be done eventually this house will go on the market and we will be moving and it just needs to be done so tomorrow will be an emotional day I probably will not be back on tomorrow and then Saturday is going to be an emotional day for me because not too emotional but I'm going to the Philly house which eventually will um not be in my name or anything it's um probably just going to get sold so um I have a lot of stuff there that I have to go through and my daughter, two of my daughters are going to help me start going through that. So yes, getting things done, getting things done. So if I don't see anybody on here, well, if I don't get on video and you might not see me until maybe Sunday. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. And yes, and may God bless you. All right. Bye now.